Now, tonight, we are so excited to introduce our first guest. He's been on our show before, and he's here again to lend his expertise. Please welcome celebrity vocal coach, James Luo. Okay, so yeah, I know. I haven't made a video in a long time. Oh, my God. All right, well, we're trying this. We're, we're, my hand is back. You guys know I had... Well, people that follow the channel or whatever know I had hand surgery. It's, it's a success. It's not perfect, but it's 100 times better. So I had trigger finger. I have not been able to hold a pick for like two years. So now we're getting there. So put a band together, beautiful distraction, doing the cover thing with a little bit of... Uh, research i realized that these guys are doing uh silent stages a lot a lot of the tribute bands a lot of cover bands all the casinos that kind of stuff so we got an fm9 it's a turbo uh i'm not really going to go into the whole thing of what it is but it's basically a floorboard so it's it creates guitar sounds so and i'm filming it back here on the with my phone so uh, I'm gonna start here and then I'll come back there and I'll show you so if you come to so basically I have one preset for my whole show it's real simple and you'll see that here would be in my scenes I've got a fender right here right which I'll set up the fender I'll, I'll start here so yeah here's like the fender which is like fender cleans <laughs> And I put a little bit of stock uh, compression compression on that one because you know we're doing a lot of 70s funk and disco and, and this uh, this uh, Epiphone Les Paul also taps so you could go between them tap them both tap one a lot of times I like to tap the bridge for the funky And uh, so then the second sound is Edge of Breakup, which is another amp. It's a, uh, it's like a, one of their plexis. The next one here, you'll see it right there, is Rhythm, which is like, this is now like a JVM. And then crunch the next one over. You'll see I go up here. I'm getting to it. Well, you'll see it better when I get over there. This is now the same amp but with more gain. The JVM. Then the last one is lead. You'll see it's called lead, and that is the same sound as crunch, same everything except a little louder and with a little bit of chorus on it. Just getting where I can play, man. So that's basically the crunch channel with a little chorus. That was Johnny Cotton's idea. Back to the uh, to the to the rhythm, which is like yeah, it's the same amp. So if you see here, I'll go I'll go out of this FC controller. If I go into amp. You can see if I go from scene to scene. So there's Fender. You see lower left on the FM edit. You can see super verb normal right you go to the next one you'll see it goes to amp a or c which is plexi see it's all backwards i've been working on this for like a month <laughs> that's nice i like that and then the next scene is 
the JVM, the Brit JVM. I never even played a real one of these, but I really like this this uh, pad. Hey, you see, I go to the next one to see how it says rhythm up here. If I go to the next one, it's the same amp, but you'll see the gain is up. So it's like a different, it, and it goes to probably amp B. Yeah, see, I'm on B. See, the gain is up B. And then the same thing here, but now it's louder with a little bit of... So I've got it here. See, I got the mix. The mix may be a little high. Let's just bring it down. I, I like it though, you know? And then you just save it and now it's forever. That's probably better. And then see when I go to the, when I go back to the crunch, which is the same thing, that chorus is now uh, muted. So, or bypassed. So anyway, this is it. I'm gonna go back there and play a little bit. And I don't know how you guys, maybe you'll hear me on the phone. I've not done a, a really any videos in a long time. Um, trying to get back into it. I don't know. You know, it's not easy. All right, so now we're at the phone. Woo! -hoo! So the first thing I want to do is tune, which there's a tuner on here, which is like a stroke tuner. And it, it's pretty cool. But I kind of like the tuner here on the wireless. I've got that Sure wireless. Yeah, see, I just like this tuner. Maybe it's not as sensitive. Yeah, see, I, I just, I, I like, I'm not really hip to like strobe tuners live. They're, they're okay, you know, if you're intonating guitars. I mean, I used to use one for years and when I was a guitar repair guy, but not really, I don't think they're optimal for me anyway, live. I just want to look down, see green, and go. Yeah, and this guitar was just set up. Sorry about the tuning. Yeah, you can see I'm out of the loop. I'm not even tuned. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. Who's excited? I've got, I've got eight minutes because i got to go and drop a guitar off. I've been, I've been sending all my guitars little by little to, to the tech. All right, here we go. So you'll see, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see, but this is between scenes. So this will take me from the fender. And break up. Rhythm. Like that. Right? And then if I come here, I get effects. So now I've got, well, well now I'm on, let me go back to edge of breakup and effects. And now I've got regular. Drive. Little fuzz. And, and honestly, chorus. And then I've got a dotted eighth, which is like a, and then I've got a tap tempo here. Right? And that's like a digital, more of a digital delay. And then I've got an eighth, a quarter note analog delay. I love that delay.
get lucky. gist of it but there it is so and you should be able to see on the fm edit software there that i'm on fender if i go edge you'll see it switches to edge and the amp switches to uh, and then if i want a little fuzz on it i gotta juice that fuzz up i mean i've just got I've got it working now, so now it'll be a matter of mostly dialing in the effects. It's rhythm and... Stand right here. Amps along the bottom are effects. I got my tap on the end. I've got my tuner, my scene change. And then the other thing I've got is I've got a boost on every single thing. Any amp that'll boost. This is the major breakup. I gotta go. I hope you guys liked the video, man. Um, I literally took a shower this morning. I'm like, I've got to make a video because I watched this guy. You know, a number of people are like, you know, being on YouTube for I, I've been on this. Well, I think longer than I've been on this thing for like 15 years. And the thing was is that I was putting out these really cool, popular videos before I knew that YouTube was a thing. Like when I was doing all my amp shootouts and everything. I didn't realize that people subscribed to YouTube and I, I don't know. I just didn't know any of, I didn't know. I just put the videos out really just for me and my friends and, you know, people on rig talk or gear sluts or, you know, whatever amp forums. I didn't, I just didn't even know. So I never like turned it into anything or, you know what I mean? It just never happened. I did. I, did, I didn't even know that it existed until really only a few years ago when I started watching like fitness stuff and then I was like oh these guys are like it's like a whole tv show like they have all this thing and subscribers and ads and, and then I looked and I was like oh my god the music guys are doing the same thing oh no man it was it went over my head you know but anyway that's it so uh that's it I'm gonna I, I want to start making videos so if you have any ideas um, I also got a Kemper stage because that, that's a part of what's going on with me. Um, I want to start playing again. Um, I want to start playing live again and singing and I've been taking guitar lessons and I, I actually took a voice lesson this week and, um, you know, just trying to get, you know, the, the thing with my hand has really been, um, debilitating and, um, it's been pretty brutal. So, but it's better now, um. If you're a guitar player or a piano player like I, I'm both 
and I play sometimes eight or ten hours a day because I'm teaching and I'm sessions. Take care of your hands, guys. I don't know what I could have done differently. I mean, I've been having problems with this hand for uh, forever, but now it just got so bad where it just wouldn't even move. So they had to cut into the palm, and it's called release surgery, and they open up space for the tendon to start to move. It's inflammation. At the end of the day, it's it's arthritis, but it's like severe arthritis, and it's focused right here. So, so there it is. So yeah, I couldn't hold a pick. Every time I pick up a pick, it would drop, and it was like I didn't. It was it wasn't even just a strength thing. It was like a sensitivity thing. And also I realized like I don't hold the pick really hard. So when I was really having my problems, the only way I could play was to hold the pick really hard. Because if I held the pick the way I wanted to, it just kept falling out of my hands. And I mean, it, you know, you're doing sessions and it's, it's falling out. Sometimes it would fall out of my hands like, I don't know, five, six times an hour through the whole day. And it was just, you know, it was just a drag, man. I, I just... Thought, oh, is this over? Can they not do this anymore? But we're getting back there. I've been learning slide. I've been working on swing and soloing over changes. And I want to get into some funk stuff. Um, really want to get into funk stuff. And I, I have the whole old sizzling guitar session lessons of uh, Doug Seven, his chicken picking session. If you've never seen the, those, they're cool, man. Doug Seven is cool, man. He's a nice guy, too. I like that guy. So anyway, there you go. But um, and I've been taking guitar lessons with Daniel Serif. And he's kind of a friend of mine from Raleigh. And he's a really good guitar player. And, you know, he's into like kind of jazz and funk rock and blues. And he plays slide. And, you know, he's kind of a kind of a an all around guy. So that's, that's what I've been doing. But I got to go drop guitars off right now at Elliot's place. Um, I've been over the last few months, like leading up to knowing I want to start playing. I've been getting all my guitars to the shop, you know, fret, not fret jobs, but like, you know, fret leveling and setups. And he's, he's he ordered a shim for my P bass. So anyway, that's just it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, that's it, man. Like and subscribe.